All right, here we are. It is Saturday, um, November 3rd, 2023 already. So we have, what I guess, a little less than two months left in the year. And uh, I thought it was a good time to probably pull out some forgotten left projects uh, from earlier in the year that had started and been putting on the shelf and sort of neglected up until now. So um, I have a couple kits that I'd started. I thought I wanted to wrap up before the year's end. And this is one of them. It's the Revell 148 scale Sikorsky CH53G or HH53C, I suppose, depending on where you're at, who you know. But uh, nice kit, older kit. Um, I got it used. It was complete, unstarted. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I got, uh, well, I got this far with it so far. So, I mean, I have uh, half of it deckled, as you can see. Um, I got half of it deckled, and I got the props assembled. I got some detail going on with the props, added a bit of wiring, and stuff to them started weathering the, uh, the dome on the top and the blades of the propellers so I started started weathering it up got some some paintwork going on it and uh yeah it's uh that's about as far as I got with it so I could see I got a seam opening up just a little bit here on the back that could get fixed up I think but uh yeah I tried um tinting the glass unfortunately I think I tinted it wrong because I put the yellow on the top and the blue on the bottom so <laughs> it's probably opposite from every helicopter that's ever been built but anyways um I think it's ready for me to carry on I want to get the decals done on the other side and start finishing up the painting there's some assembly left over i've got the uh i've got the ramp here started already in the back and i don't know if you can see, see in there or not but there are uh seat belts i've got a pilot in there and i've got seat belts scratch built inside uh, that you can kind of see in real I don't know how much I'll try to get some photos zoomed in on this but uh yeah I got some paint work to do and seam filling uh on it to get it you know finished but uh other than that um it shouldn't take too long i think by the time i get the decals on it and get it sealed in give it a good wash i gotta clean it off of this get a bit dusty from sitting up on the shelf but i think once i get it uh, dusted off and get it cleaned off and get the decals on the other side of it um i'll get her back into pretty good shape uh the masking job that i was able to do on the canopy didn't turn out too bad i didn't have a masking kit for it so um i I think it turned out pretty good and I have all the parts to complete it so uh, I think it's gonna be pretty good so I think once uh, I get my um, my new computer I'll be able to edit the footage but I think I'll uh, be working on this in sort of a live hands-on sort of format this week coming up um, and I'll just maybe post an update uh, every day see how we get along and we'll be kind of working on alternatively as decals dry and as weathering dries we'll be working on this and our dragon wagon presentation with the uh, wall and the ivy and the uh, diorama sort of base going on with that now I had idea I think for this helicopter there is a a point here underneath that has, um, you can tell I didn't care too much about looking at the underneath of it, the seam. So I think I'm gonna mount something in here so that I can mount this helicopter um, 
I think right up on a base. I want to mount it so it's just hovering over top of, I, uh, I'm not going to try to make a nice water base and I want to try to make the water so that it's being rippled and fanned out about from the force of the air from the props on top of the helicopter. And yeah, I thought I'd have maybe have the wrapped out ramp down and maybe a, a dinghy in the water with some guys in the dinghy or some figures maybe hanging off a rope or something from the helicopter. I don't know sure yet, something. But uh I do want to find a unique way to display this. I I'm gonna try to see if I can find a way to hang it vertically. Um the prop diameter on this helicopter is so large that um I don't really have a shelf big enough for it to fit into. It's more than 16 inches across. I'm not sure this is, yeah, pushing probably 18 inches across. If I had a tape measure, I could tell you, but, oh, what's well, this? This is in inches. So I have, that's 12. And I am easily, yeah, oh yeah, so we're a good 16, 16, maybe 17 inches across on the prop. So I don't have any display cabinets that are large enough to uh, to put it in with the prop on it. So displaying it, uh, that was what kind of sort of brought this build to a, a kind of a standstill was not having anywhere to display it once it was completed. And uh, now that I've hung the uh, the lightnings, the P-38 lightnings, and the uh, the Mitchell, the bomber, on the wall, and I like that display, um, I think I'm going to try to do the same with this, other than having a grass, having the water as the display. So, that's going to be kind of our... Uh, that's going to be probably our week made up. Now, uh, I do have some other life stuff going on this week, which may sort of hinder my progress a bit, but uh, that shouldn't take up too much time, and we should be able to really hit the ground running by the end of this week, uh, or the in end of this week coming up into the next week, we should be able to really hit the ground running with both projects. But uh, yeah, that's what that looks like anyway so far. Uh, as far as a review of the kit, uh, the kit went together very well. Uh, I was kind of in a rush and, you know, I definitely could have spent more time on seams um, than I could have, but it does have a lot of surface detail, this rivet detail all across the body on this, this, uh, this particular mold is uh, really something. So I'm not really sure how uh, the, I'm going to approach it with washes and with uh, filters. I do want to definitely add some staining like they have. I want to get into this sort of uh, that you can see here on the box. Um, on the finish that they have on the copter on the box, you can see that model sort of staining and fading that's going on within the panel. So I really want to sort of, I really want to bring that out in these panels because there's so many of them there's so many different panels so i really want to spend some time actually um weathering this this up and making it really kind of you know look as best as i can make it anyways so uh yeah another quick update no titles no fancy pantsy nothing so it's just me on the bench gonna be like this for probably a couple weeks until i get the new computer set up but uh you know hey it is what it is i didn't want to Put off posting anymore i've been actually a few months so i didn't really want to carry on not sharing what was going on down here um because there was actually quite a bit changing so we'll go for a room tour probably pretty soon once i get the big table set up and uh i'd like to get the the printers fired up again and uh yeah we'll start rocking and rolling and this season coming up i think it's going to be a big one so if you're interested, please subscribe for my subscribers that have hung in. That's awesome. So thank you so much for your support. It's really the comments. Please leave comments. Comments are awesome. Um, I really appreciate the comments. They really give you the juice to keep going. So um, any interaction I think is good for the YouTube algorithm uh, from what I understand. So uh, I don't know much about that kind of stuff yet. I'm sure we'll learn along the way together. But that's what being a student is all about, right? Learning every day. And that's what we're here for. So... If you like modeling and you enjoy what you see, could please come back because uh, we're going to be here a lot more, I think, frequently than we have been. So it was great to see you guys. Uh, I think that's it for today. I think I might post tomorrow. We'll see. It's going to be Sunday, so it's football day with my boy. Hopefully you're enjoying a good weekend. 
and uh, we'll probably see you in a couple days on Monday. So until then, keep modeling, have a great time, and hopefully you're good and well, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye.